welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining us today and as you can see I'm joined by the gorgeous Marang Lusiwa uh, who's an actress she's a, a, a live performance lecturer she's a media personality she's the digital content creator and Nami's mommy yeah. I think I'm really looking forward to touching on that yeah, yeah. Marang how are you doing I'm awesome yeah um, you know these are such Unprecedented, unprecedented times. It's yeah. good to be around other creators, yes, um, yes, other yes. media personalities. It's just good to be with you, Hana. Thank you yeah. so much for, for honoring my invitation. So, guys, as we speak, we're here at E and E Boutique Guest House for dinner. You know, I, I, I think I like to look at it as you know a Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. You know, for for the year 2020 because it's been such a tough year for all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean. But while we're at it, I believe you know that there was a silver lining, or a couple of silver linings, and the women I invited here today all have a story to tell about 2020. So I'm looking forward to hearing how 2020 has been for you. So let's just start here. If you were to describe 2020 in one word, how would you describe her? Um, definitely interesting. Okay, interesting is a boring word. I feel. I have experienced the best of the unknown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The best way to, yeah, to describe it would be exactly that. I have, I went into this, going through such a huge transition in my life. I'd just become a mom. I was fresh out of Bozizi. I was born in September. So, you know, effectively my Bozizi ended January yeah. and I was fresh out of the city trying to sort of recollect myself, find Marang again, mm -hmm. get back into the rhythm of working and then COVID hit. Yeah. And yeah. when COVID hit, it came with a lot of also career changes. Um, I had taken maternity leave, so I had made a decision. Also, 2019, I slowed down. I really decided this is my year to just immerse myself in Marang. Mm -hmm. because I've been working since I was 12 years old well 11 years old I was like let me put Korea on the back seat and focus on just things that make me happy and yeah. family makes me happy Hana you and I are aunties so ah, we know uh, absolutely, absolutely, know. absolutely you know, yeah. just how important yeah. that aspect of our lives is and I wanted to to focus on it for once, you know, so I decided I'm going to slow things down a bit and I'm only going to focus on the things that make me happy outside of work because unfortunately, or fortunately, work isn't everything. Mm, you're and right, you're right about that. And I, and, I, and I want people to understand that about me. Work is amazing, it's lovely, but it's not my everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, and 20, so 2019, I slowed down. After slowing down, I, I, I mean, I was pregnant at the time. I wanted to fully enjoy myself. 2019 hits, I'm like, okay, we're ready to go back to work. And then COVID. COVID happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. it happens just when I'm feeling like, okay, now what does brand marang mean for me now that I'm a mom? You know, how do I reevaluate? How do I shift with my new role now? How does my, my brand shift with this 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 new space that I'm in, mm -hmm. and it came as a shock. I won't lie, Hana, because just when I thought I was figuring it out, COVID hits, and it's like, okay, so but what do I do while I'm on lockdown? Mm -hmm. And uh, why I say the unknown came with a lot of positives is that I think for a lot of people, you were forced to make do with what you had. Yeah, you were forced to say, okay, so what? Which resources do I have at my disposal right now? Yeah. and how do I maximize on those disposal? I mean, on sure, how do I maximize on what's at my disposal? Yeah. how do I, you know, settle? And also for some of us, what we do is really what puts food on the table for yeah, us. Absolutely, you know, it's not a yeah. hobby. Yeah. what Hana does right. here, sitting on the sofa, is not a hobby. To mm. to. It's not. It's her life. Yeah, yeah. Um. So what I what I got to learn in twenty. 20 was the art of figuring it out adjusting and making do with what what you have absolutely and it hasn't been so bad 
Exactly, yeah. and that's why I have you here because you know I remember a, a couple of months ago you got the MTV Sugar, yeah, incredible yes, opportunity. Yes, I remember yes, you're the yes. only Madonna, yeah. you know, who was part of that project. So you'll yeah. get us into that right now. But I think you know, just looking at you and also just also from my own personal experience, one of the things that I learned from 2020 was that you know what, sometimes all you need to do is to just be still, Absolutely. you know, and you realize just how. Absolutely. God has got Ooh. you. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Is speaking my There's language. a supernatural power yes. above yes. all of us that has just got your back. Yes. But at a point, to be honest, at a point where I thought I felt so helpless because yes. things were just happening and COVID has just like put everything on, the, yes. on a standstill. Yeah. Opportunities arose. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'd like you to get us into that. You know, what are some of your 2020 highlights? We'll still, I'll still like to talk, you know, about, about you sugar. as a mother, but yes. let's just talk about sugar now. Right okay, now. Yeah. so now I'm going to put everything into context. Mm. A few years back, or rather, let me say this: I studied in South Africa, mm -hmm. and studying in South Africa, I I did really well. My undergrad, I did well. My postgrad, I did well. Um, I have an agent in South Africa. I thought when I left, when I left Botswana, this is it. Yeah, yeah. I am going to explore acting. I'm going to explore the South African industry. And when you're there, it's not as easy as in your mind you think it would be. Yeah. Because yeah. there are issues of work permits. And these are the, these are the behind the scenes, mm. the admin that people don't know goes on, you know, go or, or happens when, when trying to establish a career in South Africa, you have to think about, okay, where am I going to stay? And for me, accommodation wasn't necessarily a problem, but work permit was yeah. an issue for me. Yeah. My, yeah. my agent is there. It's, I still have my agent. It, you know, he's wonderful. But there were a lot of situations or, yeah, there were a lot of circumstances that I really had no control over. Mm. And I, I prayed so much. I prayed so much for the opportunity for me to act yeah. in a production yeah. that's bigger than Botswana. Mm -hmm. Because again, Han, I studied outside of Botswana. Of course. You know, so so my, naturally my assumption is want, yeah. naturally yeah. I'm, I have to move beyond Botswana. And I hated, I hated auditioning in South Africa because I felt like it's such a huge industry. I am a very small fish in an ocean because yeah. You get there, and there are ten thousand other Marangus yeah, who, yeah, yeah. who also went uh, to drama school or film school, who are just as pretty, just as talented, yeah. if not if not more talented. And for the most part, I was I was intimidated, mm -hmm. and I felt like you know what? I sat myself down and I said, okay, I'm gonna go back home now. This was a few years ago, 2014, 20, 2014, 2015, 2016. I'm gonna go back home. I am going to sort of re-establish what I have there because I knew I, that's where I started. Home, home is where the heart is. Yeah, home is yeah, where the heart yeah, is. Absolutely. And I came back home. I really, really was still praying for that big opportunity for me to, you know, showcase my talent. Now, how sugar came along was very really interesting. Kana, when I say surrendering, yeah, yeah. Now I am a praying woman, and I mean that. I I surrender to God. I have surrendered my entire life. 2020 has taught me to surrender everything yeah. to God. Yeah. God knows my needs, and I post this all the time. God knows my desires, God knows my needs, God knows my heart, mm. period. Mm. I will do what I can, but the rest is up to him. And the way sugar came along was, I I, I didn't even see it coming. I can imagine. I, you know, there's some things, Hana, that are beyond you. There are certain prayers that we pray and certain goals that we want to achieve, but they're just simply beyond us. And there's certain situations that only God can get you out of. Yeah. And he will put you in such dire positions and say to you, but wait, because only I, not I, Kauna, only, not Mama, thank not, you. only thank you. I can yeah. get you out of there. Yeah. So Sugar was a simple phone call. Hi, Marang. A certain contact of mine in, 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 in Modana called me. Hi, Marang. Um, so MTV Sugar is looking for an actress in Botswana and we feel like you would be best suited for this role you've done some similar work also you you know you, you have an already established name or brand and they want exactly that you have experience you have a degree in performing arts you are an actor by profession i sent through my uh, my audition tape and that was that 
just the, like that. The rest is history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and it's the power of God and it's also the power of waiting and waiting well and waiting diligently. Thank you. And being yeah, ready. Thank you. Because when God says go, you must move. You must move. Period. We move. We That's move. another thing. You're not kind of normally, but to marry people are lucky. No. But like people, no. like, you know, I think there's a saying, Yamore, no. luck is opportunity meeting preparedness. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So you were ready. Preparation. I was ready. Exactly. So when they said, yeah. we need tapes, we need this, we need that, yeah. all of that. Everything was sitting waiting yeah. for that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And based on that experience, what would your word be to the Hana Life viewers as far as, you know, just reflecting on that opportunity, yeah. you know what I mean, and how it came about and just how prepared you were for it? I surrender. How many life viewers surrender? Mm-hmm. Surrender. God knows your heart. God knows your desires. God knows your needs. Period. Wait, wait well, wait diligently. Wait in preparation. Wait as though you are waiting for that phone call. And then when that phone call happens, you have you have the show reel. You have and this is for what we for people in our industry. Yeah. You have your show reel. You have your pictures. You have your CV, you have your portfolio, you have a strong reputation, you have people that can back you up, you have people who are in the room rooting for you, you have people who are recommending you, you are putting your best foot forward all the time. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. And motherhood. Yeah, I think that's something yes. really exciting that, you know, I really appreciate that you got to share your motherhood experience and yeah. your journey with us. How would you say that has been? It has again it has taught me to to come closer to god mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm sorry but i god is such a big part of my life and i i feel the need to always express my gratitude because again there are some things that are beyond me and mm-hmm. motherhood is one of those things how the body is able to carry conceive carry and birth life and somehow by the grace of god you're able to to provide for this life, mm-hmm. even in a pandemic. Some things are just beyond us, Hana. Mm-hmm. I have learned to, to love and, and put something besides myself first. I know, yeah. and it's so evident from your social media posts. <laughs> yes. like, you can always tell that you're so protective and yeah. she's just an extension of you. And she yes. looks like you, like, so oh my God. Her. You know so I, mean? I don't see it. I don't see it, but so I've heard. She's, yeah, she's yeah. an amazing child. Um, listen, it wasn't an easy thing to expose her. To, in fact, to expose my pregnancy because pregnancy is such a sacred thing. Yeah. But I also wanted to, and I always say this: I wanted to shift how we perceive pregnancy. I wanted us to normalize it. I wanted to share it because pregnancy tends to become gossip. Pregnancy mm. tends to become what should they so much like shame. And why? 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, yeah. Like how, now, honestly, and how now, like viewers, I, I have been the, been in this industry for so long. For once, I wanted to just live my life yeah. and yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. I am more than my career. I want to have a family. I'm just the girl in my family. Absolutely. That's it, you know. You know, I came across a, a you know quote the other day that uh, 2020 is is. A blessing yes. wrapped in sandpaper. Yes. Because very honestly, you know, what you see first, you know, what you, you get, you know, when you talk about 2020 mm. is yeah. like, it's a year that should, should never have yeah. existed. Would you agree that, you know, 2020 was a blessing wrapped in sandpaper? I think, yes, absolutely. I think for all of us, 2020 has done two things, made us appreciate life and our family and just the simple things that we often yeah. take for yeah. granted. It's also made us um Kori, uh, it's made us aware of the fact that we can adjust amen and Absolutely. adapt yeah. it has yeah. taught us Kori, adap- Kori, the, the power to adapt mm-hmm. um and just know that your career doesn't have to look this way yeah. Yeah. doesn't yeah. this yeah. not this is not your career yeah. Yeah. Or upload uh, yeah. one so in fact one you've been you've been the girl you've been about digital content you've been there but for a lot of people especially for someone like you who does a lot of emceeing work you realize what well, now I can I can do these things on zoom yeah you know? absolutely now yeah. we can we can post videos on YouTube now we can move beyond just the normal you know I'm in front I'm on a stage I'm in front of an audience yeah, yeah, yeah. adaptability has become the number one thing in terms of everyone's career Absolutely. we've all been Absolutely. taught to 
to shift mm. and move with the time. Yeah. Yeah. Marang, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. 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 You can tell, like, you're a talker, you're a communicator. So I know we could do this for the next hour, but thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, and what would your festive season Christmas message be to our viewers? I would just say enjoy your family. Enjoy your family. Um, I think a lot of us are often, you know, I'm sure there are going to be lockdowns, restrictions, you know, especially greater Gaboroni, you know, the red zones, what's going to happen to us? Are we going to be able to connect with our family? You know, what's going to happen? But I think for the most part, let's just enjoy what we do have at our disposal. Um, let's let's just love on each other you know it's as simple as that love on your family i think because of and also there's just been an air of death i think yeah i think love on your colleagues love on your neighbor love on the person you normally wouldn't greet love on the tuck shop lady just yeah, yeah. spread love um i love you hana i love what you do give people their flowers yeah. We yeah, salute yeah, yeah. you. We 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 thank you for just being a big sister, a sister. Mm -hmm. You know, screw big sister. You've been a sister. You know, we we've turned to you for a lot of things. Like I said, you've been in the digital space even before influencers and digital con content creators were a thing. Yeah. So yeah. I'd like to say to you, like thank you. Me, Laura. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you so much. And you're beautiful, and you do it so gracefully. You do it. You do it. So effortlessly. Oh, so thank, thank you. you. So thank you. Really thank you. I want to give you a hug. Uh, yes, but like, ah, COVID times. In these COVID times, like, <laughs> I, I'm COVID free. Yeah. I promise you. Okay, thank you so much for thank your you time. For yeah, you. looking forward to having dinner. Catch you on the other side. Yes. And once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And yeah, thank, thank you for you. sharing so much of you with us M in the year 2020 M for being M that, you know, like, light mm. in such a, uh, a gloomy, a gloomy year or a year that. You know, we're perceived as gloomy, but by any God, amen, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Give me some love. <laughs>